What's up guys, if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back. And if you are new here, then thank you so much for clicking this video and go ahead and click the subscribe button. As you can already tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get ways the easiest, quickest, easiest, quickest, easiest, quickest way possible. And if you're like me and you're lazy and you don't like to brush your hair a lot, then this is the perfect video for you. I'm gonna show you guys the moment of truth. I'm really, I'm spinning under here. I really am, I'm spinning. Um, show you guys how to go from oh, hell no. this to this. So if you want your to look like this, continue to watch the rest of this video. Itching and burning, itching and burning. The easiest, quickest way. I don't like to brush a lot at all. I probably brush my hair like um once, twice a day, maybe if that. And I don't be brushing for like five minutes. Like a lot of wavers, they brush for a long time. I don't like to do that. I just feel like it's kind of boring and it's time consuming. Like who want to sit there and waste their day brushing their hair? But I'm finna hook y'all up. Y'all might not believe me right now, but um, if you're lazy, then this video is for you and keep watching to the end. A couple materials you're gonna need is a brush and some shampoo. Really, nigga? And some shampoo and some oil. You can use whatever type of oil. You may or may not need some, what is this? Pomade, whatever it's called. I personally don't like to use pomade. Um, I just really just use like oil and then a leave-in conditioner. Um, I just stole this from my mom because I don't have any. So the first thing you want to start off doing is you want to wash your hair. Um, I'm not going to give a tutorial because hopefully you know how to wash your hair. And if you don't know how to wash your hair, then this video is not for you. We just want to go ahead and go. Click the exit, exit the door, leave. Bye, Felicia. I'm just going to show y'all me washing my hair. Go to your like so, and just put it in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. So this is the important step. So once you have shampoo in here, your hair is soaked in water, whatever, take your brush. Well, I actually have two brushes. I have a soft brush and a hard brush. These are not expensive brushes. These are probably like cheap brushes. I don't even know where these came from. I think I got this from my stepdad. And this, I've had this for a while. I don't even know where I got it from. I just don't have money to spend like $20 on an expensive brush. But if you do know somewhere that sells nice brushes for cheap, um, comment below because I do need some new brushes. Or I want somebody that don't want to spend a lot of money. Anyway, take your hard bristle brush and then you just want to kind of brush your hair down and that will bring your ways into place as you can see. And this is really all I do to get my ways. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, then you know that I used to have long hair and I cut my hair. And if you guys are wondering, like these little brown patches right here, I um, dyed my hair like a month or two ago. Brown, I like the picture. But um, it grew out, so I cut the brown off. But you just want to continue to brush, 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 brush. Do this for about four or five minutes. All right, so once you feel like you brush enough, your way to kind of set in place a little bit, you want to rinse this out. Uh, shit. So you got your brush. Oh, and it's good to like, whenever you're rinsing your hair, the shampoo out, to um, brush it while you're doing that. As you can see, you just brush it, and you see your waves really come into place. Really, this video is mainly for if your hair is like longer. If you're just like starting off and you just cut your hair, your waves are not gonna come in. You are gonna have to like brush a little bit. Even when I first started my waves, I never, I never had no 20 minute brush sessions. I never brushed like three times a day. I brush like once a day, maybe. No, I brush twice a day. I brush like for like three, four minutes in the morning and then three, four minutes at night and then I wear a do-rag. And I did use this stuff. This stuff is mainly just to hold it in place, kind of. So that's why I don't really use it now. My waves are pretty much there. Yeah, I'm just telling you how to like bring your waves back to life, really. So what I'm going to do, and then take your oil. I like to use a good amount of oil because my scalp be a little dry from um, when I bleach my hair. Put it in your hands and then just put it on like so. so. Now after your scalp is oily and moisturized, take your conditioner, your leave-in conditioner. I don't use like that much. This stuff smells good too. Just enough to put on there. Wow. Wow. So the next thing, you can use this if you want. You don't have to. 
personally, I don't really like to. I just use a little bit. This might even be too much. No, like this much. Move it in. And I'll get a little bit more because that doesn't look like anything. Not too much more though. Put it in and then put it on your head. And I'm um, sorry, I'm not really a good YouTuber because I forgot some more things. You're gonna need your do rag too. Um, and I use like a cap. You don't have to use a cap, but I use a cap too because it works better. I'll explain to you when I'm putting that on. You have your do rag and your cap. So, what you're going to do, you don't have to do this, this is just what I do. So, I put the cap on. But um, I wear this cap so that I don't have like little hairs sticking up to my do-rag because that really bothers me. And then sometimes it would be like a lot, especially when my hair didn't lay down really good. So I wear this cap and as you can see, there's no hair sticking out at all. So next I'm gonna go in with my do-rag, my silk do-rag. Also, if you have some nice places to get some do-rags, then let me know, let me know. Because I want some more. I just get mine from the beauty supply store, like the local booty, uh, beauty supply store I actually have quite a few do-rags anyways so take your do-rag put it on like so make sure it's straight and i do know how to tie a do-rag correct so don't don't be trying to come for me bro hopefully y'all know how to tie a do-rag if you don't then go look it up <laughs> pull it to make sure it's tight and that's everything you want to wait Depending on how long it takes for your hair to dry, it takes like 30 minutes for my hair to dry. I have to go to class, and I'll come back after uh, when I get out of class, and I'll show you the finished product. Yo, so I just got out of class. I'm back here at home, and I'm about to show you guys the finished product. So, are you guys ready? You ready? I don't think you're ready. You ready? You're not ready. You ready? You ready? All right. All right, so remember, put that cap on and just take this thing down like this. Take this off. Y'all see? Y'all see? And when I take this cap off, take it off from like the back. You have to like, damn. Okay, hold on. Put it up a little bit and then take it off from the back and don't let it touch the back of your head because it'll pull your ways up. Y'all, I wasn't ready. Wow. This is really the key to trick how to get your waves right if you lazy and don't want to brush your hair like that. I don't even really think that y'all even getting the full experience right now. So, hold on. So, um, yeah, this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And my next video, I'm going to be like customizing some shoes. I'm going to be doing some bands. Doing like her customization on that. I might even be giving them away, depending. If I like them, then I'm probably gonna keep them because I'm gonna wear them. But eventually, I'll be doing another one and I'll be doing a giveaway. It's gonna be my first customization, so I have to see how I do on that. But, um, yeah, and follow my social medias.